Hi, this is Big Los, and welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights 2 Original Campaign. We're in the Ike Gouger Lair on the last level, and we got some dead bodies here. What's going on? These corpses. I know these men and women. I served with them. What is this place? That's it. I am never traveling in the mountains again. Strange. From what I had heard, Orc tribes of the well do not usually place their dead side by side with human bodies. Some of these soldiers fell in battle against the Orcs, but their bodies were never found. I do not know how they ended up here. But I got a pretty good idea what they're going to be used for. We should be careful. Something is wrong here. The feeling in the ground, and from these bodies, it's like a shadow. Like death. I sense it too. Great. Now the druidess has an echo. I felt this darkness before. Deep within the mare. The shadows are thick here, seeping into the land. Whatever is in the mare is touching here as well. Well, they're gonna be turned into zombies and ghouls. I agree. I want to know who has done this and why. As oppressive as this place is, we should see what is causing this blight. If we do not, it may spread further. Hmm. From bloodthirsty orcs to creeping around in tunnels filled with corpses. This just gets better and better. Yes, Quora. It gets better and better. Alright, so we got a weapon rack over here. Let's go check it out. And we got a plus one short sword. I, I no, that's not better than the current weapon the captain has, so we'll just sell that later. And we're gonna rest up and we'll put the buffs back on. Yes. After that one battle with uh Logram. Dear John Queen. And we'll do it in the usual manner. Yes. Let's see, Aura of Glory. I am listening. And Stone Skin, Flame Weapon. And then we got a target, Eleni. Put Bark Skin on. Well, now. What do you want? And we'll do the Scabbard of Blessing. This will take about 30 seconds. Alright, that's it for the captain's music of that. And now, that's the last spell to be cast by Quora. Let's go through this door, we'll turn on search mode in case there's any traps. And we got some enemies up here. A ghoul and some zombies, so... If there's one rule, it's that undead do not like fire. So, Captain, What's throw going on? a fireball from your wand over there. Quora, you do the same. Yes. And I have my eye on our enemy here. All right. That managed to I kill a bunch of them. I could do that. Of course. Okay. Don't get so close. We're gonna let him come to us. Let us press the attack. Yeah. Where is Reptar? All right. You're gonna turn undead. We're gonna see how I that's gonna that. work. So I didn't need to do it. Eleni got him with one hit. No matter. Anything in this room? No, it doesn't look like it. We'll just advance further. We've got search mode on in case there's a trap. Looks like there's some ore up here. We'll get our 50 XP for that.
Alright, so we got a door to our right and a door up the middle, so we'll go to the right. And there's a trap right there, but then there's some undead over there. So let's hey, try to disarm this. Oh, great. Alright, just come in, but don't spring the trap. Whatever you do. Cora, you can do a fireball. Now, whenever you click off the person disarming the trap, I think that's a bug where he just stops doing it. Come on, Casper. Attack! This shouldn't take long. Okay, so he actually turned undead, and it looks like it works. By the shadows of Merdelaine. To your weapons, and don't let up. Attack! Now we gotta try this again with the trap. Now, with turning undead, if they're not destroyed, you gotta have. I believe more than twice I the enemies that. hit die, which means levels. Then they're destroyed, but if you don't have, have more than that, then they're yeah. just turned and they're supposed to start running away from you. That's in regular fight at top speed until the effect wears off. But in this one, they just kind of stand in place like they're paralyzed. So that's kind of a departure. As you can see when we do it one more time, they just stand there frozen. And we just used Firebrand, and you just saw how much damage that did, so that's going to be a really useful spell. Unfortunately, undead are immune to sneak attacks and criticals. So we won't be able to apply a lot of the uh, specialized damage that we're able to do. Now we got another door over here, so let's go in it. What do we got in here? Oh, we got some skeletons, huh? Yeah. See, now Casimir had more than twice yeah. the hit die of the skeletons, so. When he turned the undead, yeah, the they were the immediately destroyed. While those others in the back the are yeah. just turned, which means it looks like they're just paralyzed. They're not running away in the opposite direction, which they should be. Yeah. And we got a chest here. Thunderstone is gold. Really, whoever that was set up their animated dead here to guard 53 gold pieces and a Thunderstone? Yeesh. Alright, let's make our way back. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. It looked like in the back there, there was supposed to be like some ore put there. And I think I read somewhere that in another version, that's where the ore was, not in the other room. I think I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, that ore that's being highlighted, I think that was supposed to be back in that other room at the very end in a previous version. Alright, let's go in here. Got search mode on. Not sure if there's any traps yes. in there. Oh, we got a bunch of undead over there. So, throw a fireball, because they're all clustered. I believe so. Alright. Okay, so. We're gonna run up in here. Oh, good one, Cora. We only got one skeleton left. Alright. So we'll unlock this chest and see what's inside. No, I'm not taking 20. Oh, I gotta wait a little bit, huh? Alright, so we got some mundane items. I guess we'll take them.
and we got some chainmail, and we're gonna have to leave this that for later. But I'm gonna pick it up right now and put it in a place where I'm actually gonna see it. Because I know if I come back here, I'm gonna miss that. Okay, we got a skeleton rib there, and there's a trap there. Let's put that down. I'll come get that later. Let's see if we can get this trap right here. All right. So what's on this weapon rack? Oh, this shuriken and another plus one of a short sword. And a great axe. I cannot move. Yes. Okay, let's put I that back. I cannot move oh. carrying this heavy load. Okay, we're going to have to drop some armor then. I cannot move carrying this heavy load. Like I said, we're going to have to come back so. for it. And you take that. And we're really having problems with this being overloaded. Alright. What's in here? Alright, so we got a crate with some more mundane items. 95 gold pieces. And there's a door over here. And right away there's some undead in here waiting for us. How horrifying. It looks like that ghoul and those two zombies were guarding this chest, and this chest is trapped. Let's try to recover it. Alright. Minor spike trap kit. Let's see what's inside. 16 gold pieces. They had three undead guarding a chest with 16 gold pieces. You'd think that the undead would be worth a lot more than that. I don't know, maybe it would have been better to keep them around where the boss was so they could swarm you. I don't know. I, I don't design these things for this company. That's what I do when I design dungeons. Who's this guy? Win? What are you doing here? Quantum, help me! Uh, what's going on with this guy, huh? Not sure. My guess? Necromancy. Pain! So much pain! Please! Help me! Should we put him out of his misery? Vaden? Karen? What has this thing done to the two of you? Ah, I sensed straw magic. You, girl, will make an excellent gift for my master. I'll pass, thanks. These students, what have you done to them? I have granted them eternal life and power. They cannot die, yet they retain their skills in the arcane arts. You, however, will outshine them both. You are strong. I can feel the power burning within you. Get your own girlfriend. And I won't let him hurt me. Or anyone else for that matter. He'll have to kill me first. But of course. That is the first step before eternal life is granted. Seize her! Destroy her companions! But she must not be harmed. Great Caesar's ghost. Alright. So, we're going to throw a Thunderstone at these guys, because they're magic users. What's going on? And Quora... Let's use that new spell, Firebrand. It seems to do a lot of damage. I am listening. And... You know what? Let's try out the Slay Living on the Shadow Priest. If that doesn't work, let's Flame Strike him. 
Yes. And Casimir, I guess. Bless your weapon. No. Okay, so one of them failed to save, the others made it. Alright, that killed one of them. Alright, Quarry, kill another one. Well, that wasn't hard at all. Let's see, what do we got here? A Dwarven Merch Shield, a Morningstar Plus 2, Sapphire, and some gold? This load is a bit of a strain. Let's see, potion. Potion and some scrolls. I think we gotta get rid of this Dwarven Merch Shield. Let's see what it does. Okay, so it's a plus one shield that gives you plus two to charisma. Okay. I'm give that too no. much to move. You can't hold that, huh? Okay, well you Casavir, you take these move weapons. Carrying this heavy load. Ugh. Yes. The captain can't carry more than eighty six pounds. I cannot move carrying this I cannot Move, carrying this heavy load. Yes. Let's see, what can we get rid of? Let's see if that makes a difference to the, the kukri. I can't move carrying all this stuff. No. What's going on? We're going to have to do more, but... Quora was right on the edge, too. I cannot... Yes. Okay. I believe so. And yes. what can we get rid of for you, Eleni? Yes, yeah, you're carrying some studded leather armor. Well, I guess you're gonna have to drop it. I believe so. Okay, so there was a door over here, so let's check it out before we advance any further. And it's locked. And there's a guy in here. Isani. So this is the regular emissary, not the imposter like last time. So we're saying that we're here to save him. And, you know, that's a good question. How do we know you're not lying? How do we know you're really the guy who you say you are? Okay, they took notes. So? So we didn't find uh, your credentials on their bodies. So he's going to go to Old Owl Well and wait for us. Meanwhile, we will check out what was behind that shadow priest. Looks like a little alchemist workshop. And we got a treasure chest. And it's trapped. Come on, we could do this. What can we put into Lightner Load? This load is a bit of a strain. Oh, it looks like I actually got the trap this time. Okay, maybe this we should put these traps in there. Is a bit of a strain. Collectively, those traps weigh a lot. So we got this load a journal, is a bit of a, a strain. gold necklace, and gloves of the hidden fist plus two. Okay, so the journal details him, the shadow priest, 
Whoa, can I actually wear that? I guess my use magic device has gotten high enough so I can wear this weapon. Or I could wear these gloves and use them as a weapon if I wanted to. But like I was saying, the journal details him trying to raise an undead army. Okay, so all the bonuses are just to attacking with my bare hands, so there's really no point to wearing this load that. This is a bit of a strain. Okay, this braces of archery gives me point blank shot increased by dex. But I'm already wearing boots of dex plus three, so it really doesn't matter. The two bonuses are not cumulative. It's whichever is higher. Okay, we can move now. Enough to get away, and we got a weapon rack over here. This load is a bit of a strain. Bastard sword plus one. Bastard sword is like a katana. Cannot, yes. the same damage. I cannot move carrying this heavy load. Ay ay ay. Well, you know what? We're right at the exit, so you're gonna have to move with that. Step with me. Come on. Follow along. All right. So let's open up this rock right here, and it leads to a secret exit. And we'll use it to go back to the world map. Wouldn't it have been convenient just to come in through there? And we'll head back to Old Outwell. And we'll meet up with Asani while we're there, and then we'll probably come back and get the uh, stuff off camera that we left. Well, anyways, I'm going to end the episode. This is Big Lowe signing off. See you next time, and have a good day.